The next trend is the move from force technology to high-tech, high-touch. We saw it in Star Wars, remember that? When Luke Skywalker chose the powers of the force over the cold technical accuracy of the computer. Switch to targeting computer. Use the force, Luke. Let go, Luke. What is strong in this one? Luke, trust me. His computer's on. Luke, you switched off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm all right. The force that graced the Jedi Knights was human and intuitive, and the force that empowers the information age is also human. The high-tech age demands high-touch balance in the same measure, and the more high technology, the more high-touch balance. The more jet airplanes, the more meetings. The more isolated our work, the more we gravitate to nature and social gatherings away from work. The more antiseptic and technological our hospitals, the more we choose to give birth and prepare for death at home. On the factory floor, the more robots, the more quality circles. Our forecasters told us that soon computer technology would allow us to work at home. They called it the electronic cottage. The truth is that people want to go to the office. People want to be with people, and the point is that the more technology in a society, the more people want to be with people. I think it makes you really feel more of the personality of the corporation, not the, just the cold-heartedness of it. You get to know the people on a different level than just day-to-day -day business. In the future, business will find the competition for talented employees is really going to be tough. And those who understand the importance of high-touch balance will use this awareness to attract and keep the best talent. I think it keeps people happy and, and more motivated in the long run. It just gives my brain a chance to, again, get away from the desk, expand itself for a couple miles while I'm out running someplace, and then I can go back and I feel I can be a little bit more creative. For decades, companies with 400 or 400,000 employees have treated them pretty much the same, because that's how you keep track of that many people. The computer now allows companies to offer a cafeteria of compensations to employees, a different arrangement, even a unique arrangement for each of 400 or 400,000 employees.